Our next guests are two of the hilarious, outspoken, and insightful hosts of the late night talk show, Nightly Pop on E. Please welcome my friends, Nina Parker and Hunter March. Hello. Hey. Hi. 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 Hey, you two. Hey, guys. What's up? Hi. Well, it's, it's, it's different going? seeing you guys in the daytime. That's interesting. Right. <laughs> Lonnie, you look so wholesome in the day. Oh, my <laughs> God, stop it. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi, guys. It's Nina, um, it's good to see you again. Um, yes, you as well. Girl, our very own Lonnie guest co-hosted with you guys over our recent hiatus, and we have to know, is late night Lonnie any different from daytime Lonnie? Because, Nina, you are uh -huh. kind of kicking it off, so. I mean, you know, Lonnie is pretty outspoken either way. I will say, you know, our show is very late night, very tongue in cheek. We talk about relationships and sex, just like you guys do. We, we get a little intense. So I learned a lot about Lonnie's uh, love habits and her love language um, in a very intimate way. So she, she likes to divulge a lot of information. I'll say that. <laughs> I love it. She keeps it real. Yes, you know, I have a great time with you two, and um, let's just get to it, okay? Because Nina and Hunter, I think you guys should go together. I think you should date. So do you have any updates for us? <laughs> Hunter, you first. Whoa. Well, I, d I did make breakfast for Nina on Sunday, which was, I thought she had a very nice time. She doesn't want to say what time she got to the house. She keeps oh thinking in the morning, but so be it. You know, we'll let her do what she wants. <laughs> Uh -huh. I'm here oh. for it. I am here you for too. it. Nina, what kind of DMs are you getting? What kind of DMs are you getting from fans about this situation over here? The problem is that Hunter and I are really good friends, and he loves to torture me by playing into this, like, relationship thing. So now everybody is DMing me saying they ship us. I had some girl uh, DM me telling me, just, just go ahead and give it to him, girl. Like, y'all getting real <laughs> comfortable in these DMs. And, uh, Hunter and I are just friends. Stop asking me to be with this man. <laughs> Nina, what's, the, what's your ship names? What are they giving you? Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. I, I, you know what? Nobody's giving us a name. They're just calling me Nina March, which is not okay, because if anything, he will be taking my last name. Oh. 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 Nina March sounds good. <laughs> Nina March sounds really good. I'll take Hunter Parker, but you're taking Nina March. We'll just trade. Hunter Parker. <laughs> And they both have rings to them. You guys have been co-hosting Nightly Pop together since 2018, so it's been a few years. When did you first feel like you were really vibing together? Nina, you first. Um, I think, you know, look, we, all, we instantly had a vibe. Like, we, we, were, yeah. we were good. Hunter's really funny, um, super laid back. Uh, but I would say the pandemic really made us close. You know how, like, sometimes you'll film, oh, wow. you'll, you'll, you have your lives, you go about your separate lives. I would say now, since the pandemic and having to really be close with you guys, you know, technical issues and all the things that we have going on, <laughs> we became friends because we were venting to each other and dealing with everything together. So yeah. I would say the pandemic really made us, like, really close friends. I love that. What about you, Hunter? I would say the same thing. I think it's funny that we became really close as soon as we weren't physically allowed to touch each other uh, because uh -huh. of a pandemic. Uh -huh. I, I think that that was keeping her away from me because she knew that maybe she couldn't control herself and that's why we didn't hang out outside of work. <laughs> but now we've gone to like, uh, we went to a, a crawfish dinner together. Uh, she made me a plate of food. It was very sweet. We had a, we had a very nice time. I love it. You don't reveal these details. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Nina, Nina, you hosted the show a few times with Lonnie and Kim Whitley pre, uh, recently. Is, is it, I mean, it's pretty rare to see not only one, but three black women hosting a show together on a major cable network. What did the experience mean to you? I mean, you know, this was, it, it, it just, you know, happened. We didn't know that this was going to happen. It was kind of a last minute thing. And yeah. it, we were sitting with each other, looking at each other like, wow, this is a really big deal. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's a shame that even now in 2021, this is not something you see frequently. And, you know, especially in the late night space. So for us, you know, we took full advantage of it and acted as crazy as possible. Um, and, you yes. know, really wanted to show people what they were going to get with the three of us. And I thought it was brilliant. Obviously, I love being with Hunter, but that was definitely a monumental moment for us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just for Black women to see that it is possible. And so I was really happy to participate in that with Lonnie. 
Oh, so that's dope. so cool. And Hunter, not only do you host Nightly Pop, but you're also currently Paris Hilton's podcast co-host. And in 2017, you found the time to write a book. So what inspired you to do all of this? Well, the Paris Hilton podcast, Paris inspired me to join it. You don't really say no to Paris Hilton uh, asking you to be a part of a podcast. So that was just very serendipitous. It was, it's been a really fun experience. I got to go to one of her birthday parties, which was mind-blowing i saw <laughs> iggy azalea was there and it was just like very weird for me as someone who does not go to parties um and then uh for the book i just i was in my early 20s and i got this opportunity to write a self-help book but because i was in my early 20s i couldn't fill it myself probably legitly so i decided to make <laughs> it more of like a chicken soup for the soul a collection of stories trying to help people especially young people um through a lot of random issues a lot of things that everybody's gonna go through and some more specific stuff yeah yeah that's really really cool you guys we have a clip of you guys in action and on nightly pop so we want to show that you're that type of guy so you get a lot of women and it's because you know and you're not bad looking you're oh! on the eyes and i just feel that help men that are funny and they're halfway looking decent you know that they have a <laughs> You Wait, so am I like... not bad looking? Am I halfway looking decent? Am I am I ugly? No, you're not ugly. Oh, you're no, all you're the not time. ugly. Hunty, no, no, you're Come not. On. I don't no. know if you've seen the comments on Nettie Pop's Instagram, but when somebody when one of you guys makes fun of me, they come to my defense. They think I'm vulnerable. <laughs> She didn't no, call you I'm a tree monster. Bad. She did not call you a tree monster. <laughs> you no, know, but she didn't really call me Brad Pitt it. either. <laughs> what? No, she didn't. <laughs> I have thoroughly enjoyed um, being with you, and thank you both of you for, um, you know, letting me be and hang out, because late night space is a whole different space. But Nina, you are so great. You actually designed your Oscars dress in 2020, and that led to a very exciting opportunity. Tell us what you got going on. Oh, man, I'm so excited. So I have dropped the first plus-size line with Macy's. I am the first Black woman to do so, so I'm super yes. excited about that. Um, it, it will be sizes 16W uh, to 24, and in addition to that, size 0X to 3X. And so, you know, we're getting a wide range of people and hopefully expanding that as well. But for me, you know, just doing television and having to have multiple outfits every night, I just realized that there weren't a lot of options in the plus size space and yeah. not only were there not options but there were options that I felt were a little matronly they weren't super cool right. and, and chic and I kind of felt like there was an opportunity missing so you know I got like sequin joggers bodycon dresses you know you don't yes. have to hide your arms there's tank tops there's yes. jeans they got a little bit of snatch in the waist so when you button them up it's gonna snatch that waist for you honey so <laughs> all the things that I really went through in wardrobe where I was frustrated or like man this doesn't fit or come around or there should be stretching this. I just decided to make it myself, child. So that's what's happening. That is Love amazing. That. Congratulations. 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 Nina, Hunter, thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with us today. You guys are so much fun. You can catch brand new episodes of Nightly Pop Monday through Thursday at 11.30 p.m. only on E!